look what we got here. Our <laughs> running shoes arrived. Good job, thank you. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Memory just gave me a piece of bubble yum, bubblelicious, or whatever that. Anyways, so I'm trying to talk. Today is go time for packing for this race. I drew up a list here. What's in brackets is what all the kids are responsible for themselves to get. And then I'm getting this stuff. And then this is the food and drinks that we're packing. They provide a lot of food and drinks, but Harvey recommended that we also bring some of our own stuff that we want. Look what we got here. Our <laughs> running shoes arrived from Ultra, and the kids have been pretty excited to open them. Those are still zero drop. They're just higher. Ooh, nice. Even though you're not even running in the race. I wanted to tell you guys about the arrangement that we have with Ultra in the form of a story. When we started the Appalachian Trail about a year and a half ago, we had normal light hiking shoes. And then I discovered Ultra Shoes about 300 miles in, and I like could not believe the difference that they made in my feet. So I contacted the company right away because I found out that the founder ran a marathon when he was like 14 or 12 or something. And I told him the story of our family, and they decided to send us shoes for free for the entire rest of the trail. And then when we came home, they said, we're happy to, help you out with running shoes for a couple years also, like two pairs per person for your family, which has been really cool. And there's three things in particular that I wanna highlight that I really like about this arrangement. One is the shoes themselves, okay? So what makes Ultra different is these like two things. And these two things very simply are, they're a zero drop shoe. This is my old shoe that I've been wearing for almost a year now, which means they're completely flat. So it's supposed to imitate a natural stride like the way you would naturally run. The second thing is it's actually like wider up front here, which means your toes can go out, which once again helps with the natural thing. So there's a whole thing about that, but I like our family being able to run in as natural, which I feel like is injury free way as possible. The second thing is it helps our family out in a huge financial way, just not to be able to pay for two running pairs of shoes per person per year. That's really great. And the third and final thing is, when we made these arrangements, they never asked us to do anything. They never said, oh, you gotta read off this script, or you gotta create an advertisement, or promote us. I just said, you know, we're gonna just feature the shoes the same way we do anything else in our vlogs and tell the story. So to have a company that makes a product that we actually believe in be able to support us, I really want to support them in the ways that we can, which is really just telling you that we really have liked these shoes and they've been a really cool company for us to work with. So thank you Ultra, if you're interested, you can check them out. I don't know of any like special links, that's how you spell it, it's pretty simple. These are my, uh, look at this, oh wow. Oh man, is it, can you, is it even possible to open shoes and not smell them? Can you do that? If you do, comment below, but I, I don't even know if it's possible. So you can see this is like a year old and this is brand new. This one has like a hole in it, but they've like worn pretty good. I've worn these a lot, but these are for the 24 hour race. Mm. Two. 
two days until the 24 hour race. Things feel a little hectic around here, trying to get things packed up. No! I brought up no. some bins here, because we found, because we have such a large <laughs> trunk space, we have found bins are the easiest way to carry stuff and pack, pack it. So this bin is Rainier's, and he's putting, not really sure what in there, books and toys. I, I'm putting tape in there. You're putting tape? We don't need tape. And then Ben wanted some bins. This bin is for Felia. There's like gonna be a whole bin just for camera equipment. Just for camera equipment, yep. I'll show you some of our race food over here. We got a big bag of Powerade. We've got goldfish, sunflower seeds, Lay's potato chips. Okay, but remember don't put too many things in there right now because I still have to put your clothes in there too, okay? So maybe a couple, like maybe three more things. I also feel like our house just threw up a bunch of Ultra shoes because we opened that box. So we have Ultra boxes here and here and here. Remember this guy? Remember that? <laughs> no, because we need a four man. Remember that one? That one still smells like the trail. Yeah. Um, tent. This is the tent that all the kids slept in for the whole AT. Yep, smells like the AT. <laughs> fun this was Harvey's idea to do a, um, a family mileage goal are you guys interested in doing that um, what would that mean just like yes I am, I am. so here's the thing if we do if we want to do 300 miles then everyone has to do 60 miles except for memory can do 33 and Flea can do 27 and we'll get 300 miles. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do 40. Do you guys want to go for that? That's 300 miles. P.F. Chang's for dinner. Eden, <clears throat> look at this. Ready? Look at that belt buckle. Huh? Look how shiny that thing is. That's so cool. Wait, can I see it? You want that thing? Yeah, I want that thing. Well, if you want that, you gotta run 100 miles. Oh. Uh. But but just for running at all, you get that one right there. You get that other metal. What did that just zoom? How did that happen? Whoa! Look at that. Whoa! So that's wait. Which one do you get to run 100 miles? You get that belt buckle. There's wait, but the so. belt buckle is just metal. That fly still. Needs it. Yeah. It looks it's 9:30. We are pretty much packed. Not loaded up though, obviously. Long day, really long day. Seven by eight. I bought them. Seven. Yeah. Tomorrow we leave. See you guys tomorrow.